All right, everybody. So, uh, welcome back. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this on my channel. It's something that uh, really just caught my attention, flew on my radar, and oh man, it's really, really pretty. I really enjoy it. Um, now, if you guys uh, are a fan of Protec, and Protec is known for their switchblades. That's that's one thing that I really know about them, and I didn't really know that they made other knives other than switchblades. Um, but this one's actually really neat, so let's go ahead and get into it, everybody. Let's talk blades. That's what we're into. So today I got for you guys not just a Protec, but this one's a collaboration with Ferrum Forge and Mass Drop. Um, now, I don't know too much about Mass Drop. Uh, I've only heard, I kind of heard a little bit of it. Um, they're basically just kind of a knife group. I don't know if that's an actual knife company. I, I want to say that it is, but I don't want to be, I know, I don't know if that's actually a company. I think it's just a, something else, maybe something close to it, but I could be wrong. I, I want to say that it's a company, so, <laughs> Mass Drop. Um, I actually thought that this was Drop Forge. <laughs> I don't even know too much about that. I do know Protec, and I do know Ferrum Forge, and um, Ferrum Forge, I think I maybe own maybe one other knife that's close to a Ferrum Forge. Uh, but yeah, so let's go ahead and get into it. So it's sealed by this drop sticker right here, and it has a drop sleeve on this uh, nice uh, Protec box. And yes, I did purchase this on Amazon. Uh, just to let you know if you're curious about this, uh, this is the Mordax button lock at least that's what it's listed as uh apparently there's an original mordax out there that this one is not the original mordax i uh, could be wrong it's just i've heard two conflicting i don't know i'm pretty sure that this one is what it says it is the mordax button lock um so yeah so let's go ahead and open it up yes i did break the seal on it and i did play around with it so you get this stuff on this side this text here you can pause it and read it if you want made in the USA you get this little foam insert right here and then you get the knife in the uh, nice cotton sleeve and this is a very durable cotton sleeve that it comes in it's really nice it really is so I'm going to put this off to the side just in case you guys want to see. Now this is the plastic bag that it comes in. It is also sealed with a uh, Protec, the signature Protec sticker. So it's going to be inside this bag, inside of this plastic bag, and then taped with a uh, kind of a seal protector. But it's just a sticker. It's um, Protec, and it just says caution, you know, very sharp, all that. So it's got your limited warranty right there. I'm trying to get the glare out of there. If you want to pause that and read it, you can. It's all... It's there. That's. I think this comes out. Yes, it does. Oh yeah. So it has two sides to it. It's been a while. I'm sorry. Forgive me. So basically, it's just letting you know about its warranty and its rules and all this and that and the cautions and stuff you need to keep in mind. That good and happy junk. So I'm going to put this off to the side now that I've gotten this out of the package. And here's the knife. So the closure on this is really, it's really nice. It, it just fits the knife so well. I'm going to take that out. And here's the Mordax button lock. It looks like if you were to take this, take the flipper off, it would look like a switchblade. Wouldn't it? Because it says Protec on there. So anybody and everybody that knows Protec would instantly assume without this flipper it would be, you know, some sort of either gravity knife or freaking switchblade. So really cool stuff. I really do like this. It's very smooth opening, very smooth drop shut action, and it's just really, really slick. Um, it's got this matte finish on there. So that's really, really nice. Uh, pocket clip is nice and deep carry. And the screws are recessed. The screws are recessed. So that is really cool. That means that it's nice and flush and flat. It's really, really awesome stuff. So you got the Ferrum Forge right here. Design. They've got their little emblem shield. And then it says, uh, it has the drop on there, CPM 20 CV. And Protec. So that's a lot of text 
but I like how that they they the way that they stamped this on there so that way there's not too much else you got that on there you got the drop on there CPM 20 CV and then you got the uh, ProTech USA on the other side I think that's good so you got a forward choil on there that's actually really nice it is to me it's a it works I don't think it's that kind of comfortable but it works now the blade length on this is 3.6 so it's a little bit over your three and a half inches and I kind of like that I really do uh, I rather stick around 3.7 3.9 but 3.6 is good um, 3.5 is probably the lowest I'll ever try to carry at least by its lonesome otherwise I have to couple it with a bigger knife that's just me so you got this button lock closure it operates very smooth like I said it just drops shut the acoustics on this thing are flipping amazing it's just you hear it, it just it's it has like a ting it doesn't have a click it has a ting and it's just it just oh it just sounds so nice it's it's like ringing a new bell it's really 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 nice and it's just very well done now the price tag on this thing is a little bit on the steep side yeah you're looking at 250 260 for this particular one you could find it for more you could find it for less depending on where you go i got mine off of amazon um really cool stuff i love that drop point blade some people call it clip point that's nice stone wash on there it's really nice really sharp very very awesome stuff it's not overly flashy but it's it's nice in all the right ways and it's not overdoing it you know it's this could be it doesn't have to be a dress knife it could just be a good edc for just regular everyday carry i wouldn't really want to go too hard on this knife because of it's having just the button the button lock on there i don't know i don't really know how strong a button lock really is uh, some people say it's strong enough just like a liner lock some people say it's weaker than a, li a liner lock but i guess that all depends on how you use the knife and what you intend to use it for um obviously i don't abuse my knives too much i do use them so i don't know if there's any liners in there we can check that out real quick bust out my flashlight if i can there it is nope so just to let you know this is not the titanium version this is the aluminum so uh it's it's a little bit lighter weight that's what it's claiming that it's lighter than the titanium um which is nice you know i was hoping that it would be titanium but i think that one would cost a little bit more but hey aluminum works just fine steel pocket clip is what they're saying um now let me get my uh magnet out here yeah the pocket clip is is steel and I believe that it's anodized the handle and the pocket clip are both uh, black anodized so that's really cool yeah it's getting the blade on there <laughs> but yeah so it's it's really nice to have that it's a it's a it's a good touch it's a good touch so we'll get into the specs of this knife and my personal opinions on it uh, let's see, get there so we can get out these scales. You guys know how much this thing weighs. All right, I'll zero it out, and it's coming in at a 3.94, under four ounces, yo. That's pretty damn good. Um, that means it's nice and lightweight. So if that matters at all to y'all, that matters some to me. I do enjoy that. All right, so we'll get into the length. Blade length plus handle length equals hell yeah. So yeah, you're looking at a little bit more than three and a half inches of actual blade. So three point or three and five eighths overall, but you're looking at a cutting edge of three and one fourth. If I can really really get that down there, uh, yeah, it looks like three and one fourth. With an overall, looks like eight, maybe eight and one fourth inches altogether. Yeah, around about. And then, of course, you are looking at a four and a half inch handle on here. So it's it's really comfortable. There's no uh, finger grouping uh, on the handle on the grip. So that's actually really really nice. I really do appreciate that. So I don't feel like I need to. It just feels good. 
I don't need to, you know, unless I'm moving up the choil, choking up, but it feels just fine, my four fingers there. Uh, there's no uh, jimping on this. It would have been nice to see a little bit of jimping here, or at least to feel it. The only jimping that's on this knife is on the flipper tab, which rightfully so. And that's the only jimping that I see. There's no jimping anywhere else. So if that's a problem for you, you might not like this knife, but the ergos are pretty decent even without the jimping on there. So, I mean, that's just me though. I mean, this is a, I want to say that this can be a little bit more than a utilitarian knife. Uh, at least that's how I kind of behave with any blade that I carry is having it just to be a little bit more than just a utility knife. You know, I want it to be last ditch self-defense if I need to. And this seems to work pretty damn nicely. Now, as far as grip goes, it is a bit on the slick side, but I guess that all really just depends. Um, the text, there's no type of texturing on this knife, although the anodization on this knife does feel like it's grip enough, even though there's no texture of any kind to it. It's kind of hard to explain. You've got to get it in your hands in order to really know what I'm talking about. But it's not bad. It's not bad. And I do like the convenience of the button lock. I've always appreciated button lock knives. They're just nice. They're really nice. You don't have to go in there and get in the way of the blade, get in the blade path, you know, in order to unlock your knife. It doesn't bother me. You know, I do, I don't care. As long as the lock works and it's sturdy, I can care less what kind of lock it is. As long as it is something that won't cause any issues, any and every lock is fine to me. It makes it unique. So you're looking at 11.9 on the handle. And on the blade, you are looking at a 2.9 millimeters. So, is it discreet? I want to say about medium. You know, if you're if you're that type of guy who wants to go in uh, with something that doesn't, you know, shout too much attention, then this might actually work for you. Nice dark pocket clip, deep carry, so not a lot of it sticks out, assuming that, you know, you just have that little bit sticking out right there. But even still, that's pretty subtle. Um, I really do enjoy how this is it's it's just a nice knife overall now how sharp is it well cpm 20 cv I'll give it a shot let me get some paper that is if i get the paper oh here we go there's a little bit of a little bit of paper yeah it's plenty sharp it is. It's it's probably not like razor razor sharp, but that is that's pretty good. Catches pretty well. Tip is nice and sharp. Ah, uh, I'm butchering this paper right here. Seems to work just fine. Yeah, seems like it's okay. Could it be a little sharper? In my honest opinion, it, I think it could, but it's a working edge and it's more than just working. It is very sharp, but it's not Spyderco sharp. It's not cold steel sharp, but it's not bad. It's a decent kind of sharp. So this is nice. This is very nice. Now, the last time I saw anything that remotely resembled this, I think it was the Cold Steel. This kind of reminds me of a Cold Steel Lawman. Lawman. Did I say that right? Cold Steel Lawman? I think I did. <laughs> That's the, probably one of the only other Cold Steels I've never actually held. I just never really cared for it too much. Um, but it does look like a decent knife. And this kind of reminds me of that, just how it is. It's really, really just kind of minimal, but yet not so at the same time. Really good stuff. I really do appreciate a good blade. This is a very handsome knife. It really is. It comes in two other, uh, comes in actually a, a few other colors. You got blue, you got the uh, milled, milled version, which means that uh, you're not gonna have a plain handle. It's gonna be, there's gonna be some uh, decorative carving in there. It's gonna look a little bit more. You got some lines in there. Uh, same thing on the other side. It's gonna it's, it's gonna provide a little bit more grip. You got milled holes on the. I just thought it looked a little too much. I wanted to go for something a little bit more uh, traditional, so I went with this version. 
Good thing, too, it was available there. I think there was only like two or three left in stock of this kind. Um, other ones, they just had, they had more. I didn't like the blue one, obviously. It just didn't look right to me. Um, they had other ones. I think it was OD Green. And then, of course, they had the all black. So you got a black blade and black hardware. It's just, it, and of course, anodized black um, pocket clip and uh, handle. So it looked nice, all the same price tag. It's it's not exactly cheap, but it's really nice. Really, really, I keep saying that. I don't know how many times I, I'm going to say nice in this video. It's really good. It's really good stuff. Really, really awesome stuff. Now, this is a very smooth opening knife. I've been playing around with it for about an hour now, just flipping it open and closing it. And I've even been just using it as a gravity knife by holding the button lock down and just flipping it open and shut using just just the button lock alone and this thing is very smooth the button lock is not like hung up anywhere it's not getting caught on anything it's it's smooth uh plunger action so out and in and there's no resistance whatsoever it's it's just really really good very good i want to say that you know i i don't know if it's running on ball bearings or washers i want to say that it's on ball bearings because this is ultra smooth but I could be wrong. I really could. I just, I almost did that. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but I was about to go in there thinking that there was going to be a liner lock. <laughs> no, this knife is really, really awesome. So really cool stuff. A little bit more than a three and a half inch knife, which is always appreciated. Um, I normally do carry four inch knives, but uh, I do, I am starting to appreciate smaller knives. Um, you know, around about the three and a half inch knife range is probably the lowest. Like I said, that I would carry the shortest. I would carry at least by itself. Uh, any shorter than obviously it's strictly just um, a utility purpose knife. Obviously, you wouldn't use it for any type of self defense. Although you could, uh, if that's something that you're looking for. This is a very good knife. Now, the only thing, like I said, if your hands get sweaty or bloody or what have you, you might want to consider picking something else to carry or use uh like nick shabazz says if you're going to carry this and you work at a vaseline factory it's probably not going to be the best thing because <laughs> you're just going to be slipping and sliding but i've noticed that this because of the ergonomics it's it it, it very much stays put in your hand nice and solid grip on there it, it feels good either way but I will say that there is no type of jimping on here other than the flipper tab, so it kind of hinders for a little less grippiness, um, but that's okay. I mean, it really does take after. It does look like a Protec knife, and it does look like a Ferrum Forge knife, so it just has that feeling of two, so I guess two and one, hey, you know, it's, it's pretty nice. I have to say it is something that I very much enjoy. I'm going to carry it around for a little bit and see how it how it fares. Hopefully, you know, I think that this will be in my permanent rotation. So that's actually really good. Um, I've been carrying my Civivi button lock. And uh, I've just been playing around with it so, so much. I love, that's probably like my favorite Civivi now, is that, uh, that button lock Civivi. Um, that elementum that is some good stuff if you haven't had one you need to get one they are definitely affordable they are uh they don't break the bank um the only thing is is obviously it's going to be in sandvik steel if that bothers you which it kind of bothered me at first but it actually operates very well their heat treat is actually surprisingly a lot better than uh than a lot of other companies um i think another company that does it right is kershaw when they did their blur in their uh, 14C28N uh, Sandvik steel, that was also, it kept a decent edge, but it also got a little tiny bit dull in certain places, and that was just me, just regular use. So uh, the only other company I have to say that didn't do too well on the heat treat on their Sandvik steel was um, Best Tech. I had the Best Tech fin, uh, ended up getting rid of it. Um, I did not like the heat treat on that Sandvik steel. It was very soft. So there was, you know, I wasn't cutting zip ties or anything. I was just cutting normal stuff, cutting, breaking down boxes with it. And it just dulled out on me really, really quick. So I don't know if they're actually using Sandvik steel or if their heat treat was crap. I want to say it was the heat treat. 
Um, but they did a good job. Civivi knows what they're doing. And uh, Civivi and Wee Knives, I do recommend if you guys are on a budget and you want something from them, they have some good stuff. Otherwise, if you're looking for a high-end knife that you don't mind spending money on, uh, this is something to consider. Um, especially with all the flavors they have out with this. So it's really good stuff. Anyways, I think I'm done ranting on that. <laughs> So if you guys like this, go ahead and slash that like button, stab that subscribe, slice that bell icon so you guys are notified anytime that I post new stuff. And please, please, I know I didn't say it in my last video and I, uh, I do apologize. In these troubled times, be kind, be safe, carry responsibly, and I'll see you all awesome people in the next video.